Hello everybody, Cat Kings here again, and you'll have to forgive my mic quality. I know it's not the best. I will replace it. My other mic, for some reason, is not working well, so I'm having to use a backup one. But today, we're going to talk about just how strong was Ali Jr. actually. I think he is, by some, overrated and others, underrated. So I'm hoping with this video, I can give an objective answer to that. So first things first, Ali Jr. goes to Baki to fight him shortly after the Raitai tournament. Or not, yeah, is it the Raitai? Yeah, I think it's so, the Raitai tournament. Sorry, I can't remember what it's called, with the Kayos. And whether or not it was the rider inconsistency or it was a change of motives by Ali Jr. later on, his original intention for talking to Kozue is simply to get Baki to fight him. As we can see here, he makes no qualms about it. He wants to fight our boy Baki. Baki turns him down, says, nah dog, that ain't for me. Ollie's like, I bet. And so, the f seed has been planted. Next thing that comes up with this is when Ollie Jr. first meets Kozue. Baki is the big thick, and Ollie Jr. stumbles across her. He's like, yo, look. I see you feeling bad. I wish you guys the best. Here's something that meant a lot to me. I carried this as a child. It supported me to the very end. And now it looks like you need it. Whether or not this was done for emotional manipulation or genuine act of selflessness is up for debate. But nonetheless, the seed has been planted. This is their first encounter. Next up, we see over to the scene of Ollie Jr. going up against Dave. Dave himself says Ollie's punching power is about 100 times greater than his own. And I know world class athletes are punching bags and jokes in Baki, no doubt about it. It's just worth mentioning. He says this is a fight to the death. Now, whether or not that's intentional or he's just saying it, I'm not sure. However, it does indicate to the sweating and his statements, he's taking Ollie Jr. very seriously. Now we see that this guy talks about Dave having hundreds of fights. And this being the first time he's ever admitted that somebody's on a different level than him. Which already means that Ollie Jr. is well above the average man. Even world class athletes, he's well above people who's well above people. And just look at Dave. He is sweating his balls off. So, as the fight goes on. Dave gets his ass whooped. It's not even a competition. And eventually, Dave goes for a takedown. Shoots in on him. Looks like he's probably going to try for either a single leg or a double. It looks like a double leg entry, honestly. Ollie Jr. steps back. Swings that counter uppercut. And Baba Booey. Look at that. Bam. Shuts the lights off. It's over. And it's interesting to notice that multiple times it's mentioned that. Oh, shit, sorry. His fighting style is not just boxing. Something I think that's important to keep in mind.
which implies that he must be ready for other fighting styles as well. So, God bless it. Sorry, guys. Next up is his encounter with Yujiro Hama. After some pleasantries, Ali Jr. shoots for his jab, which is, if you know anything, the fundamentals of boxing and one of the most important strikes. Obviously, in anime, the footwork and everything and the stuff is just kind of goofy because that's not actually how you throw a jab, as you can see. That's as improper as improper gets. But, you know, it's an anime. It's designed to be goofy. So, Yujiro's qu clearly, like, good, very quick. All Yujiro's like, oh, shit. Not ready for that, right? And as you can see, he even comments on how Ollie Jr. is faster, quicker than his own father. And then boom. And Yujiro, by the way, mentions that he's not going to hold back. So he swings, goes for a high kick. And Ollie Jr. sways back. Now, whether or not we want to say this is Baki logic or not, the writer's always been inconsistent, but look at that, he dodges. Goes off shit. Now, intelligence is equally important. Because when Yudro gets down and starts, and, you know, assumedly is waiting for Ollie to come into his open guard, Ollie Jr. is just like, nah, I'm not stupid. Why would I do that? Which is a clear sign of intelligence. Why take risk that you don't have to take? No one to hold him, no one to fold him. Obviously, this pisses off Yujiro. So, Ali Jr. hightails it the fuck out of there. Next up, as we see, ba 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 bow when he's fighting this other punching bag, right high tournament punching bag. Wait, no, no, so that, back then, that was before the right high tournament correction, when he first meets Baki, I believe. Or maybe it's after. Sorry, I'm not really sure. It's, um, my memory's a little cloudy. If there's any corrections you need to make to the video, let me know. But, as we can see, fighting this dude, this other right high tournament punching bag to enter, I Junior gets into the open guard and just starts dodging up kicks over and over. Catches them, you know, pins them, and then bam, hits them with the meanest motherfucking cross. Dude says, Ugh! And that's pretty much it. Fucks them up, and then when they get up, he really rocks them. Later on, in the actual tournament, Ollie Junior clowns on this big Kayo. Kyle punching bag, tall Kyle, not even important knowing his name, I think it's Jaku Kyle or something. Just clowns on him, moves around, dodges, makes no real effort. And this dude, by the way, is tall. In fighting, somebody has a reach like that, you should be on the inside fighting. You should be, especially when it comes to boxing, the lower you crouch, the harder it is to deal with and the easier you can get into the range when you're crouching and you're moving forward. Only Junior does the exact reverse opposite and still clowns on this dude, even with him throwing kicks. And then zap, right, slips on the inside. Baba Booey fucks him up. Zhao Kyle, okay, that that's who it was. Then to the next Kyle punching bag. It's the same shit. Only Junior dodges. Dude tries to throw kicks. Looks like he tried to throw a front kick to the face. No way, Avi. And again, it's always mentioned that it's not just boxing. He's kicking off the ground. You know, boxing has kicks. He kicks the ground. So, and it's called the Ali style of fighting. So it's more than just boxing. It's a complete martial arts. And Yujiro even comments on this when he fights Ollie Jr.'s father. So, good night, Irene. Uppercuts the fuck out of this clown.
So, Ollie Jr. makes a call. It's time for him to move. He's about to set everything into motion. Calls up Kozuri. Hey, what's up, bitch? What you doing? How are you, Tatiana? Bet. Then he goes on to fight Goki Shibukawa. And... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Hiccups and burps. Right from the get-go. Good reflexes. Dodges that. Dodges that. Right, dodges two things and then gets hit by the glasses. Boom, boom, boom. Goki gets in. Uses Aikido, which is obviously a bullshit fraud martial, martial art, if you know anything about Aikido. But, you know, I sometimes wonder if the... It's for another discussion, but um, I sometimes wonder if the author has a hate boner for an Amer for America as a, uh, what do you call it, a Japanese nationalist. Uh, I don't know if what you call it, but essentially... Uh, Japan good, America bad. Um, but that's a whole other subject for another day, and you'll see, and I'll do a whole other video on that. Nonetheless, I do like the, the manga, even though I don't particularly like the man behind the manga. Slams him down. Now, obviously, there's no real name to this move, because it's not a real move. And then we go over this, which it's good that he does mention legitimate martial arts and mentions Sugar Ray Robinson, which is amazing. So when you're talking in Ollie Jr., he's given a shit ton of respect in this manga. And in this manga, he's much stronger than, um, than his real life counterpart. And he mentioned straight up point blank, hey, Ollie Jr. is faster than me. Even Yujiro commented on that. After some scuffle, Ollie Jr. gets in. Look at that. Goki's surprised as fuck. And then, bah! Gets him good. And Dunyan rings. Fucks him up. Says, alright, bada bing, bada boom. On to the next one. I just fucked up this boy. What are you gonna do? But it's important to notice how Goki talks about how gentle the kid is and stuff, you know, and mentions how good Ollie Jr. really is. So then we go back to Tatiana Kozue. What do you think, Baki, me marrying someone? And Baki's like, what? Now Baki's obviously a Chad. He's not going to force Kozue to do anything. And he straight up tells her, hey, look, the agreement that we have, the love that we have is between us other people didn't agree to that. Other people weren't a part of that. You can do what you want. The Chad, Baki, and the Virgin, Kozue. And he's like, okay, who? And she's like, I'm not telling you if like, the smuggest grin. Or smirk, whatever you want to call it. Next up, our boy, King of Simps, Ollie Jr., goes to Dopo. Says, I right, bet. Let's fight. Throws out a couple jabs. Dopo uses some good head movement. Dopo's straight up like, I'm not going to have mercy on you, boy. Charges in. Ba-bam! Hits him with the cross. Fucks him up. And Dopo even mentions, like, look, bro, this dude's fast as fuck. I'm trying to get out of the way, but I can't. Which is a testament again to the whole thing between Holly Jr. having some good speed. Goes for a high kick. More like a roundhouse, really. Ollie Jr. just sways back. Then he turns. Goes for a side kick. No luck. Ollie Jr. says, fuck that. Rocks him. And it's important to mention that Dopo's like, look, this is sports. I knew I couldn't beat you in it. And that's when the whole dynamic of the fight changes. Ollie Jr. is like going, why can I not connect? And Dopo, bam, hits him. God, hits him hard, dude. Hard-ass body shot. 
And as you can see, he mentions, hey, we were using bamboo swords, now we're using real swords. In other words, a fight to the death. Dopo's actually trying to kill this dude. Ollie Jr.'s like, you know, and he confirms it. And even then, Ollie Jr. is still staying calm under pressure. Goes in, Dopo tries to get him, but, you know, again, a technique that would not actually be practical in a real fight. At all. Ollie Jr. dodges it. And comes over the top, hits him with a jab, which is actually really good to come over the top of somebody's arm. Usually they won't see the, the shot nearly as well if you do that, which is a good attention to detail. And as we mentioned previously about Ollie Jr. fucking with Baki trying to get him to fight, when he approaches, goes away. Bucky's like, "Shit!" Like, "Hey, are you trying to provoke me, dog?" Which is like, "Yeah, are you Ollie? Are you dog? Come on!" And Ollie Junior says, "No, no, 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 no." But already, Bucky's like, "Yep, I gotta beat this boy's ass." Next up, Ollie Junior fights Jack Hama. It's important to notice before they fight, Ollie Junior's got a fucking massive stiffy in his pants. Right, thinks he's gonna fight Jack Kama and do the same shit he did to everybody else. He's been on a hot streak and made everybody look like chumps, quite frankly. And as far as skilled fighting, oh shit. Ollie Jr. is 10, 10 miles ahead. He's lapping Jack Kama when it comes to pure skills. Hits him hard in the temple, right? Hard as fuck. Jack Kama's like, oh shit. Like, that's good shit, boy. And then we get over to Ali Jr. Not Ali Jr., but Muhammad Ali. He's like, yo, straight up boxing did not give me these effects or damage me at all. Like, bro, I don't know how to tell you this, but it was my fucking son. And he doesn't just say, oh, yeah, it was a fair fight or it was a hard fight. No, he crushed me. Destroyed me. So back to it, he's fighting Jack Hama. And he's just laying into this dude as he dodges, right? I mean, talks, talking, laying in, swaying away. And again, this emphasizes Ollie Jr.'s countering and speed abilities. He's just getting out of the way. And he's just rocking him, rocking him. But one point of thing is, look at him, he starts to get nervous and scared. He's like, dude, what's going on? Like, uh... I should be done by now. And you have to keep in mind, all the other fights they've had have been super quick. They've all come by way of knockout just very, very quickly. And you can see his whole demeanor changes. And then he's like, damn, I can't even beat this dude. And I wanted to fight Baki? Oh, fuck. Jack Hama just, ba ba booey, just starts fucking him up. Look at that. I mean... Molly whopped the fuck out of him. He shoots in for a takedown, right? And this is obviously not good form for a takedown whatsoever. Poor form, but again, Jack Hama doesn't care about technique. He's just in there. I big, I big strong man. And that works for him. Fuck it. Jack Hama is not a, a world-class fighter. He's just a dude who bites and happens to be built different. He is the very definition of built different. His mental fortitude is also what's so impressive. Is this dude will keep going for as long as you let him go. I mean, pick the pickle fight that he has later on. And Ollie Jr. thinks, I'm going to hit him with the uppercut. And to his credit, times it well. That's another thing. Ollie Jr.'s timing is impeccable. Gets him clean. Hits him again. But, say la vie. Jack Alma wraps him around. Gets a bear hug and just tosses him. Not the te most technical throw by any means, but it works. It got the job done. Throws him. And starts stomping the fuck out of Ollie Jr. And then, as Ollie Jr. backs up and gets to the wall, Jack Hama comes in. And again, this is a testament to Ollie Jr.'s timing. Fucking rocks Jack. 
drops him to his knees and buckles him bad, right? And keep in mind, Jack Hall has taken some incredible shots from people like Sikorsky, who he just no-sells Sikorsky's strikes, right? Yeah, Sikorsky hit him, but nobody ever dropped Jack Hall to his knee quite like Ali Jr. Uh, you could argue people like Baki or Yujihama. However, those guys are designed to be strong in OP, especially Baki later on after the Yujiro fight. My goodness, he gets so overpowered. If you see his fight with Sukune, it's just like, fuck, man. Come on. Nonetheless, Ollie Jr. has power in his strikes. We can't pretend he doesn't. Because he fucking hits Jack Hama. And even in the fight, Jack Hama spits out blood and teeth. He's rocking Jack. He's hitting Jack. He's not no-selling these strikes by any means. But it's that mental willpower. Fucking cripples him, caps our boy. And then hits him with his best strike, obviously, his uppercut. That was Jack's best strike. It's mentioned multiple times. And Ollie Jr. is still wanting to fight back, even though Jack is just fucking him up, dude. And the whole time he's still wanting to fight. And this is a testament to Ollie Jr. Look, he's not willing to give up. He was actually willing to die for this. You know, this is a prime scene. People want to talk about Ollie Jr. and how he wasn't ready to die for shit. Uh, I don't know if it's the writer being inconsistent. I think it is because he was. The writer's always been inconsistent, so we can't really argue. Or if it was Ollie Jr.'s first taste of actual near death that scared him. I don't know. All I do know is right here in this moment. He's obviously not faking anything. It's not like he's saying it to Jack out loud. He can't even be understood. Even if he was talking, Jack's not going to hear him from that distance. Ollie Jr. meant to... Ollie Jr. came... You know, he didn't come to play. And then... Of course, what really got him in trouble was his pride and ego. Instead of just saying no... He goes and fights Goki. And it's like heavily implied they try to, you know, the writer really tries to suck Goki Shibuyakawa's dick and say, yeah, he's just playing with you. I bet Ali Jr. gets whooped the fuck out of Goki. is like, ha 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 ha. What a chump. Bye bam. Kozuri's like, look, bro. Why do you got to constantly fight? I don't care at this point. But why? I was just like, I just have to. There's Dopo obviously wanting to fight him. And Ollie Jr. is just fucked up. Goes on. They're looking for something. And Ollie Jr. asks him straight like, hey homeboy, I beat you. Why are we doing this again? Like, I beat you. I could have killed you. And he's like, don't worry. We'll be done soon. And he's straight up. Dopo's just straight up honest. You know, there's no cap here. Hey, you won. I was trying to fight you to the death. I was trying to kill you. Pound for pound, prime for prime. You're better than me. There's no way around it. You're just better than me, dude. You are better than me. And you whooped my ass. And you made it look easy. But look, I'm doing the ambushing now. I'm ready to fight. So, what are you going to do? And Ollie Jr. is like, all right, bet. And as they fight, Dopo just fucks up everything, destroys every body part. Right? His fists, no longer fists. They were fucked up already, but they're even worse now. Can't even punch him. Leaves him all crippled, all battered up. I mean, my God. And Dopo's like, look, if you want to keep fighting, we can, but... Up to you, man. If you don't fight, then that means you admit you lost. And it wasn't just a physical impact, but look at the emotional impact. And this was a dude that not too long ago was on top of the world, acting arrogant as fuck, cocky as all shit, and now he's just had his shit split in three different ways, again and again and again.
and back to the power of simp magic. Thinking of Baki fucking Kozue as he watches in the corner like a cuck. He's like, yes, 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 yes. I am getting stronger. Now, it should be important to notice that Dopo and Goki talk. Hey, who's going to win? Dopo's straight up like Ollie Jr. And they know Baki. Well, at least they think they do. They know of what they've experienced from Baki and what they've seen. They're close people to Baki, not just some strangers. And they should say, yeah, I think Ollie Jr. is going to win because we taught him what it means to be a real fighter now. And there's a theme as Ollie Jr. is going to fight Baki. Hey, you're strong. Hey, you're courageous. This dude is real shit. Ollie Jr. is like, damn, can he really be that strong? And again, they're like, you know, we want to see how much courage you have. How, what's your charisma? And this is where Ollie Jr. already loses the fight before he actually loses the fight. It's in him thinking, am I actually going to win? Do I have any real chance? And that type of thinking, you've already given up. Say your prayers. It's over for you, bro. So he gets there. And Yujiro comments, hey, you look like a strong fighter. But he mentions in the near future, you know, his son, Baki's going to fight him. So I think that's just an indication that, hey, we're looking past you. The fight begins as Ollie Jr. gets nervous, right, and everything. And he goes straight up. He comes over, tries to go for a cross. Bucky slips under. And he's like, damn, that was quick. And Ollie Jr. is all known to be quick. So it's an indication of how fast Bucky really is. Baki hits him hard. God fucking hard. Overhand right. Rocks his shit. And Ollie Jr. gets knocked the fuck out. Flash knockdown. Or knockout. It, maybe not even flash. Maybe just straight up knocked out because of how long he was gone for. And he wakes back up and he's like, damn. He goes on a monologue like, hey, look, your friends taught me what fighting is and what winning is. And Bucky's like, no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. I'll kill before getting killed. Yeah, okay. Bucky straight up nut claps him. And he falls down. And then he mentions, right? Hey, he wasn't prepared to die. Like you, you know, Muhammad Ali. Like you just punched me. You saved him. You risked your life. There's no way Ali Jr. was going to do that. And this is the most important thing. Baki straight up mentions, hey look. If he connected with any of his punches, I would be out cold easily. Easily. And that just makes you think, right? Look back at Shaq Khanma. Ollie Jr. had a training session where he got a lot stronger, by the way, between the fight. And he trained and recovered and kept training, kept training for the fight with Bakihama. And even pre-training arc for the Baki fight, you tell me Dopo's going to take those strikes that he gave to Jack? You tell me Goki's going to take those strikes that he gave to Jack? Jack's whole thing is that he can take a punch, right? Like, people like Jack and Biscuit Oliva, the whole thing is their tanks. In games, you have tanks who are slower, but can take a lot more damage and deal out a lot of damage. They are the tanks of the Baki universe. Ollie Jr. hits hard as fuck. Any of those average fighters who take his shot, at this point in time in the series, any of those other fighters are getting fucked up. If he had a rematch of Goki at this point in time, I have no doubt in my mind. All he has to do is land one strike. That's all he has to do is land one strike and it's over. The problem with it is that all the way through this, Ali Jr. had been gifted everything. He had grown up in a sports environment, in a combat environment, 
and as such, you never really experience the nerve-wracking shit of actually putting your life on the line. Not in the t- context of like this. The stakes were not as this high. Ollie Jr. had always fought fights, and he was talented and great. But he never faced adversity. His hands were shaking from fighting people like Goki and Dopo when he knows how strong they were. Even then, he mentions he doesn't think he, he doesn't feel like he's going to lose those fights. So, at least in some part, he could still stay calm because he didn't feel like he'd lose. However, the moment things start going against plan, the moment things don't aren't assured, aren't almost guaranteed, or at least very likely, Ollie Jr. starts breaking. And he mentally gives up the fight before it even begins. So how strong is Ollie Jr.? If I had to say at this point in time, he's not beating the tanks. Like Biscuit Oliva, for sure. If he had a rematch with Jack after the Baki training arc, I think very well he could have won. As Baki may not be as durable as Jack, but he is a better fighter. But even if you argue Baki isn't all that durable as Jack, it could be argued equally maybe he is. As he took that poison and still recovered from it and fought people like Ujiro and still somehow survived. Baki has taken so many blows to the head and then you look at Baki's body and how battle scarred it is. This boy is used to beatings like nobody else. And he says easily so maybe the difficulty right the difficulty for Ollie Jr. to knock out Baki is very easy with one punch any punch not his best punch any punch he mentions that so if he rematched Jack I have no doubt he would have beat him even if he had to throw everything into it and let's say he hit him with a 10 punch combo if he had the right mindset if he stayed calm the entire time did not get mentally scared and started throwing some wild combinations and used good footwork to go in and out, in and out. I think he takes down Jack. So we can clown on Ollie Jr. all we want, but he's not nearly as weak as people make him out to be. I think the writing in this arc was shitty, as do a lot of people. However, it is what it is. And with that being said, that's how strong I think the King of Simps, Ollie Jr., is.